Peace, family. Peace, peace, peace. So first off, I want to talk about this journal that I had got. Um, it's, I had got this from TJ Maxx, and it's $8, okay? It's phenomenal. It has gold stickers on there, um, planner. It's like a planner. It's, it's really phenomenal. But I wanted to come on here and talk about it costs too much to stop, okay? So I just had invested into Peach McIntyre's um, class she had, which was $7, and it was cool. I don't want to be pulp no more, right? And I remember when I first invested into Peach's McIntyre's, um, it was like cash app. You sent her cash app payment so she could teach you how to um, get monetized doing reels, right? And I remember, and I don't even know if she ever see this video, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but I remember I was in a car with two of my oldest children, well, my two oldest children, um, who my oldest son was 18 at the time and my oldest daughter, she was 16. No, she was 15 at the time. And I remember saying to them, like, I'm going to invest into this course and this is going to change our lives. And ever since then, right, I invested into the course to learn how to do short form content and um, things of that nature. My, our lives have changed, right? That was like the first time I started getting money from making videos. And for some of you guys, I've been doing um, these videos for now, I believe it's six years. I'd be, I'd be saying five and a half, six years, right? Um... Well, I started 2018, right? And it feels so, so good. And to the person that's out there that thinks like maybe they want to stop, maybe you want to quit or whatever it is, what made me start making content was I wanted to encourage other people that was going through the same thing, growing through the same exact thing that I was growing through, Okay. And a lot of times we go through obstacles and things tend to happen to us when we are children. And sometimes we think, you know, you're not good enough. Sometimes you think that, you know, who's going to watch you. Sometimes you think you're not smart enough. Sometimes you may even think you're not beautiful enough or pretty enough. But I want to tell you, you have what it takes, okay? Okay. You are special, you are beautiful, and what makes you different is your superpower, okay? The thing that you probably don't care to show, right, like your flaws and everything, you're like, oh, well, I don't want people to see this. No, show that, because that's what people are going to gravitate towards. And you, not everybody, you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but once you start being yourself and being authentic, the right people will gravitate towards you, okay? Your tribe, they will feel your vibe. And everybody ain't going to get it. And everybody ain't going to like it, okay? But you have to keep on going. And you have to be so de delusional that believe in like, Oh, I'm going to be a millionaire, right? And let me tell you something. You could be on welfare. You can be on Section 8. You could, you could be living up under a bridge somewhere. But you have to be so delusional and feel like, you know what? I'm going to make it. You know what? I'm going to do it. And one of the things that I have heard so many successful people say, an elephant, you eat an elephant one bite at a time. You do not have to have it all figured out. Sometimes people are not going to support you. Your close, your closest family, your friends, sometimes they're not going to support you. And sometimes people you don't even know, they will support you. And they will love on you. And you just got to keep on believing in yourself. Keep on believing in yourself. You know what I tell myself every other day or every few days is there's no other options okay there's no other alternatives this is it social media me being a full-time content creator this is it and that's what I tell myself I tell myself it's almost like you 
burn the bridge okay because there's no going back it's just you moving forward and whatever amount of time it takes it takes because you know that when you put the effort in it your blood sweat and tears honey that do not go in vain okay you will reap the harvest but you have to stay consistent you have to believe in yourself you have to know that if it was possible for one person, it is possible for you. You are no different, okay? And you also have to know that in life, we all experience things. I remember I was listening to Brian Tracy, and one of the things he said was that the difference between successful people and people that's not successful is people that's successful they still go through trials and tribulations and they still get up and do whatever it is that they know they need to do, whatever it is that they passionate about, because life is not, life is not going to stop because you want to be a content creator. Life is not going to stop because you want to be a millionaire. Life is not going to stop because you have these these big dreams and goals. Life is not going to stop because of it. It is going to keep on going, but you got to learn how to handle your emotions. You got to learn how to keep on going. You got to learn to be the motherfucking little engine that could. Okay. All right. That's what you have to learn to do. And so with that being said, I hope you guys got something from this. Peace.